Judiciary. In this module, you will learn about the Indian judicial structure and the role and functions of the Supreme Court. In a democracy where citizens enjoy several rights, there is bound to be conflicts between two or more individuals, organizations or departments. This situation necessitates the need for an agency that would adjudicate between these disputes and arrive at a decision. The judiciary is an institution which resolves legal disputes and administers justice. An independent and powerful judiciary is considered to be an essential prerequisite for a healthy democracy. The judiciary in India is stratified into various levels. It consists of a supreme court for the whole nation, high courts for the states, district courts at the district level, and local adalats at the village and panchayat level. India also follows an integrated judicial system. This means that the Supreme Court of India is at the apex of the judicial system of India and controls the judicial administration in the country. The decisions of the Supreme Court are binding on other courts of the country. Being the apex court of the country, the Supreme Court has a wide-ranging jurisdiction. The jurisdiction of the Supreme Court is divided into regional jurisdiction, appellate jurisdiction, and advisory jurisdiction under original jurisdiction. It can take up disputes between citizens of India, between citizens and the government, between two or more state governments, and between governments at the union and state level. Apart from adjudicating between disputes, the Supreme Court acts as the protector of fundamental rights of the citizens. The Constitution empowers it to issue directions, orders, and writs to enforce these rights and to protect public interests and human rights. Under appellate jurisdiction, the Supreme Court acts as the highest court of appeal in civil and criminal cases. The decision of the High Court can be questioned in the Supreme Court of the country. The advisory jurisdiction of the Supreme Court requires it to look into matters specifically referred to it by the President. The Constitution of India also accords the Supreme Court the role of the guardian of the Indian Constitution. The Supreme Court and the High Courts have the power to determine the constitutional validity of any action of the country's executive. They can also declare as null and void any law that goes against the Constitution. This power is known as judicial review. All these powers make the Indian judiciary one of the most powerful in the world. True democracy requires an independent judiciary. This means that the judiciary should be free from executive or legislative control. To ensure independence of judiciary in India, the judges of Supreme Court and High Courts are appointed by the President on the advice of the Prime Minister. The senior most judge of the Supreme Court is usually appointed as the Chief Justice. Even the removal of a judge of Supreme Court or High Court is a very difficult process. It requires an impeachment motion to be passed separately by two-thirds members of each House of the Parliament. Thus, the judiciary in India plays a crucial role in the maintenance of the democratic ethos of a country. Let's recall what you have learned. An independent judiciary is an essential prerequisite for a healthy and effective democracy. The judiciary is an institution which resolves legal disputes and administers justice. The judiciary in India consists of a Supreme Court, High Courts, District Courts and Lok Adalats. India has an integrated judicial system. This means that the Supreme Court of India is at the apex of the Indian judicial system and controls the judicial administration in the country. The Supreme Court can take up disputes between citizens of India, between citizens and the government, between two or more state governments, and between governments at the union and state level. The Supreme Court acts as the protector of fundamental rights of the citizens. The Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal in civil and criminal cases. The Supreme Court is also the guardian of the Constitution of India. 
It can examine the constitutional validity of any action of the country's executive. To ensure independence of judiciary, judges are generally appointed on the basis of seniority and not on political preference. Further, removal of a judge of Supreme Court or High Court is a very difficult process.